What I found was a rickety, dimly lit, winding staircase. This must be the way out, I thought. Hurriedly, I ran up the stairs. They were very steep and seemed to be leading nowhere. I continued the staircase, nevertheless, my mind in a whirl, my body feeling drained and exhausted. Through my confusion, I thought I could hear the distant sound of music. I stepped to listen, but could not tell where it was coming from. I resumed my climb, and with each step I took, the music seemed to become louder and grow closer, till finally I recognized it as organ music. The tune was the strangest one I had ever heard. But who could be playing the organ? And where could they be? More than ever, I wanted to find my way out of this haunted house. I was overcome by a terrible feeling of desperation and doom. Slowly and mysteriously, I found myself being lured to that mysterious room from which the haunting organ melody was playing. I soon found myself inside a large room. The organ music was deafening now. A quick look around the room revealed it to be a formal parlor, inviting and comfortable. Except for the loud music. Then I noticed it. In a dark corner, a large organ. In the darkness, I could not see who was playing it. I called out, but no one answered. Perhaps they couldn't hear me because of the loudness of the music. Quietly, I walked towards the organ so as not to frighten whoever was playing it. As I approached, I could not see anyone. Closer, and still no one in sight. When I finally stood next to the organ, I was dumbfounded. The blood seemed to freeze in my veins. I could not move. The keys of the organ were moving up and down frantically. But no one was there to play them. I called out then. But no one answered me. I backed away as fast as I could and again I began to run. I didn't know where to run to, but I had to get out of the house somehow, some way. There just had to be a way out. The house was surely haunted. Who could be playing such terrible tricks on me? Why would someone want to do such things? I couldn't understand. My mind was so confused, and my body so totally exhausted. I didn't care what happened to me anymore. I just couldn't go on. I collapsed in a heap on the floor. Through my sobs, 
sobs of frustration and fear, I could still hear the music. The footsteps. The laughing. And all kinds of strange and eerie noises. Now I can even hear chains rattling. Doors creaking. Floors squeaking. For sure I am going out of my mind. not a breeze, at least a light breath of damp air through the heavy, musty odor of the house. I commanded my mind to think clearly, my body to move towards that welcoming breeze. Would it lead me to an exit of this dreary, possessed house? It was hard to see in the darkness, but yes, yes, it's some sort of drawbridge lowering before me. I was finally leaving. I rushed out as fast as I could go. The rain was still falling in torrents. Thunder still crashing through the night. As if in answer, a flash of lightning revealed a desolate graveyard all around me. A renewed sense of fear overtook me. The security of a moment ago was gone. Suddenly, I began to hear ghostly sounds, horrible, frightening sounds. Beating faster, faster, in a panic, began to run once more. First one way, then the other. The sounds became louder and more unbearable. I felt totally helpless. Without warning, I felt myself being pulled down. Something was tugging at my leg. I struggled. But in vain. I screamed and yelled, knowing in my heart it was to no avail. Next thing I knew, I was falling. Falling. My head struck something hard as I fell. I felt myself fading away into darkness. I was awakened by a clock striking midnight. Amazingly, I found myself in my own bed, in my own room, in my own house. How had I arrived back here? What a strange night I had passed. I began to ask myself countless questions. 
Finally, I realized it must have been all a terrible nightmare. Of course, I had only been dreaming. What else could it have been? I felt a sudden relief. And it all seemed so real, so true to life. But that was impossible. Such things could never happen. All at once I felt very tired. My head ached and my body felt as if I had been running all night. My hectic day was catching up with me. I lay down again. I'd better try to get some real sleep. As I lay my head on my pillow, I felt a huge bump on the side of my head. But where could that have come from? I was sure I didn't have it when I went to bed. Then that terrible laughing. Not a happy, joyful laugh, but an evil, menacing 